Welcome back and today we're going to look at uh, one part of the new front end of the grader. Uh, as you can probably tell this is the uh, d uh, dozer blade um, uh, which is basically completely new. Um, I'm just reusing uh, the, the actual blade itself but the mechanism is completely new. Uh, so um, I just uh, I sh or I'll try to show it first I'm using a Savux half size um, or half height I should say uh, servo inside uh, this uh, extruded steel um, so that will be mounted uh, at the front of the grader um, and because of the reduced height it tucks neatly into the uh, um, into the frame then uh, the mold board uses that uh, parallelogram uh, mechanism um, I have uh, uh, done a slightly more low profile um, version uh, so this is going to get a, a countersunk screw as well and then it's really nice and slim because the the wheels are going to sit um, roughly like this so uh, you can see that uh, during steering we want to have um, we want to have a bit more room so this being low profile is advantageous um, and otherwise, uh, I don't know, not much to say. I'm using uh, Tamiya Kingpins um, uh, as uh, uh, those pivot points. And um, uh, yeah, I'm using steel here um, so that I get a bit more weight um, on the grader. Uh, the front bit is uh, aluminium. And previously I had a uh, full size servo. Uh, one like these um, in the front bit so um, basically the same idea servo arm forms one quarter of the uh, parallelogram mechanism and uh, that worked quite well um, but uh, the problem is of course that if I have the servo at the front uh, then the servo always needs to lift its own weight uh, and while it's not overly heavy I thought uh, it would be a bit nicer to have the servo inside the stationary bit so that the servo only needs to lift the actual blade um, yeah and that works quite well um, but um, you won't be able to to see that on the screen. So one problem of the uh, servo is of course that the servo has a normal operation if I if I have something like this the servo needs to support the weight of the of the dozer blade so <clears throat> and in that case at 6 volts it draws 0.2 amps which is not too good um, and you can also hear the the annoying buzzing sound of the servo so what I have tried to do here is I have a magnet up here and I have uh, some counter pieces uh, steel screws and the idea is that this makes it easier it's not perfect, but it makes it easier to um, uh, move the mold board, uh, sorry, the the dozer, dozer blade into a position where um, the magnets help to support the weight. Um, and the servo current drawer is now down to 0.04 amps, uh, which is basically uh, nothing. And um, uh, so I will uh, need to adjust this this uh, gap, this alignment between the screws and the magnet 
um, to get the uh, best support. I was thinking of using springs, um, uh, but uh, well, if this is if if this works, I think it's quite a nice solution. Uh, I have to see I have to see what is what is best if if I can adjust the uh, once I have everything mounted up um, and I'm actually using my normal radio I can see whether using the um, endpoint adjustments uh, gives me enough uh, precision yeah so um, that is what I have been up to doesn't look like much but uh, um, I've been trying to uh, uh, do this nicely so that I'm uh, happy with it um, and I have a few ideas what I'm going to do with the old front end um, but uh, definitely the next step is going to be uh, well these are the parts that will go into the new front end this will be the steering arm these well, two of these will be the new uh, motor holders, um, new servo mounts. This is part of the frame. Uh, these are going to be the knuckles. This is just a cover. And this is going to be the new front axle which is going to sit in the frame like so uh, yeah so well that's mostly it um, and as you can imagine that is going to take quite a while I um, but I will I will update this um, uh, build report with uh, if I have anything any sub assembly that is worth showing I will I will update um, and yeah, uh, so wish me luck and I shall see you next time. Thank you very much.